NPS Racing Engines, located in Niagara Falls, New York, has been the leader in Superbike and 600 Sprint Racing technology for many years. Will O'Connor and his staff will deliver to you the perfect blend of power and reliability. Champions like Joe B. Miller, Jeff Hartman, and the 2012 Micromania $10,000 winner Ryan Greth all depend on NPS Racing Engines. Give Will a call today at 716-791-4325 or visit them online at www.niagarapower.com. NPS Racing Engines. Everything else is prey. Susquehanna Valley Speed Shop, home of the Edge Chassis. Unique and innovative design is the hallmark of the Edge Chassis. Adam Romig and the staff at Susquehanna Valley Speed Shop never settle for second best. Visit them online at www.suskvalleyspeedshop.com or give Adam a call today at 570-539-4400 to see if he can give you the edge on the competition. Nunzi's Advertising Specialty is your one-stop shop for all your advertising and promotional needs. Nunzi's can provide you with anything from logo creation and design to personalized hats, bags, awards, and more. They can also provide you with custom embroidery, screen printing, or direct garment printing on wearables. Rush service one-day production is also available. Visit them now at www.shopnunzi's.com. Good evening, race fans, and welcome to this episode of On the Scene from the 2012 Blaze Alexander Memorial Race at Greenwood Valley Action Track. Tonight's racing action saw 29 cars signed in, plus the two top finishers from last night's event. The racing would start off with four heats, seeing the top two finishers going to the dash. Heat race winners would be John Gearhart, Luke Thomas, Kale Regal, and finally the 2012 PA 600 Speed Week champion, Shane Lewis. Greenwood staff would rework the track and the B-Main would be the next race up. Tom Freshetto would go on to win the B-Main from the fourth starting spot using the outside grooves to make his move and take the checkered flag. Once the heat races and B-Main were completed, it was time for the dash pill pull. Each driver would pull a pill for the dash, but there was a twist. Once the drivers pulled the pill, they would then hand that starting position off to another driver that qualified for the dash. Mike Kohler would be handed the first starting spot by the Susquehanna Valley Speed Shop driver, Brock Zierfels. With the dash lineup set, Mike Kohler and Tyler Walton would lead the field to the green. Kohler would easily drive away and take the five-lap dash race over Tyler Walton and John Gearhart. The feature lineup was now set and it was time for the 35-lap A main. Mike Kohler would lead the 26-car field to the green flag with Tyler Walton beside him. On the start, Kohler would jump out into the early lead over Walton, John Gearhart, and Chad Van Horn. But contact in turn three on lap one between Gearhart and Van Horn would bring out the first of many cautions. The field would line up single file seeing Kohler and Walton still one and two. Luke Thomas was now up to third in the 2T machine Shane Lewis in 4th, and the 1A car of Kale Regal in the 5th position. Again, Kohler would get the jump on the field, but after only 2 laps, the caution would again fly for the 45 of Van Horn. Luke Thomas had gotten by the 2nd place car of Walton and wanted his shot at Kohler on the next restart. The man on the move seemed to be the 8 car of Kyle Lick. He was already up to the 7th position off of turn 2 from his 11th starting spot, but again the caution would fly for Van Horn for the third time ending his night. 
On the next restart, Kohler leads Thomas, Walton, Lewis, and Regal with a very fast lick, picking off cars every chance he got. Kohler would jump out to about a 10-car length lead over the second-place car of Tyler Walton, who picked off the 2T of Thomas right after the green flag dropped, and then the yellow would fly again, this time for the 3F car of Craig Fox. The field was again single file. Kohler still leads, Walton was back up to the second spot, with Thomas back to third, Lewis fourth, and Regal still in fifth. The green flag would fly, this time though, Walton wouldn't let Kohler drive off like he had on the previous starts. Three laps into the run, the yellow would again fly for the 14S car of Cronrath. The top five was still the same on this restart with Kohler leading the field into turn one. Lewis would get a run off in turn two and take Thomas's third spot. Another driver seemed to be on the move through the field and that was the 7H of Mike Rutherford. The 2012 Kevin Gobrecht Memorial winner found himself up to the ninth spot. It would only take the leaders about six laps on this run to run into lap traffic. This would allow Walton to get right on Kohler's rear bumper. Walton would take a shot entering into turn one, but would slide up the track and lose all his momentum, allowing Shane Lewis to start pressuring him. The leader would work through lap traffic cautiously, allowing the second and third place cars to close right back up to him. The top three were all together now, with Lewis and Walton just waiting for Kohler to make a mistake. Walton would try several times to make a bid for the lead, but he couldn't get close enough to pull it off before the yellow flag would again fly for the 14S of Cronrath, who spun in turn four right in front of the leaders. On the next restart, Kohler leads, Walton second, Lewis is up to third, Thomas fourth, and the eight of Kyle Lick was now up to fifth. The green flag would fly and Walton would take his shot, but again he slid up the track, causing everyone behind him to check up, which allowed Lick to duck under the Thomas for the fourth spot off of turn two. Thomas would fight hard on the top of three and four, but to no avail. Two laps later, the caution would again come out, this time for the 14B car of Paul Benford. On the final restart, Kohler would lead the field to the green flag with Walton and Lewis still in tow. Lick was now up to the fourth spot with his sights set on the leaders and Thomas right behind him. The green would fly and Kohler would charge into turn one, giving himself a comfortable lead over the 14T of Walton in second. On the next lap, Lick would pass Lewis for the third spot and drive hard to catch Walton. Within four laps into the run, Walton was right there on Kohler's tail tank, knowing his chance to make a move for the lead was running out. On the final lap, Walton could get close entering turn one, but not have enough steam. So he'd try the top in three and four, but Kohler proved to be too strong and would go on to take the checkered flag at 2012 Blaze Alexander Memorial. Walton would cross the line in second, Lick third, Lewis fourth, and Luke Thomas would finish fifth. After the race, Walton would be light on the scale by approximately seven pounds, disqualifying him and moving all the drivers behind him up one spot, which would give Mike Rutherford a top five finish. We here at 600 Scene would like to thank the staff at Greenwood Valley Action Track for hosting us so that we may bring you all the action from this year's Blaze Alexander Memorial Race. We would also like to thank NPS Racing Engines, Susquehanna Valley Speed Shop, and Nunzi's Advertising Specialties for sponsoring our coverage, and to you, the viewers and fans, for all your support. Be sure to catch our coverage from next week's 2012 Linda Speedway Nationals, our final scheduled race of the 2012 season here at 600 Scene. And remember, we're always on the scene at 600scene.com.